everyone. I'm Miss Brandt. I am here to read you a story today. I wish we were at school. Um, I'm missing everybody. I'm sure you're missing your friends and your school too. Um, so I thought it seemed like we can't be at school. I'll still read you a couple of new stories. So here is a story called Come Along Daisy. I am going to be reading Come Along Daisy by Jane Simmons. You must stay close, Daisy, said Mama Duck. I'll try, said Daisy. But Daisy didn't. Come along, Daisy, called Mama Duck. But Daisy was watching the fish. Come along, Daisy, shouted Mama Duck again. But Daisy was far away chasing dragonflies. Come here, Daisy, shouted Mama Duck. But Daisy was bouncing on the lily pads. Bouncy, 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 bong, bong. Plop, went a frog. Quack, said Daisy. Ribbit, said the frog. Bong, plop, bong, plop. Bong, plop, splash. Quack, said Daisy, but the frog had gone. Mama, called Daisy, but Mama Duck had gone. Daisy was all alone. Something big stirred underneath her. Daisy shivered. She scrambled up onto the riverbank, then something screeched in the sky above. So Daisy hid in the reeds. If only Mama Duck were here. Something was rustling along the riverbank. Daisy could hear it getting closer and closer and closer and closer. It was Mama. Daisy, come along, she said. And Daisy did. And even though Daisy played with the butterflies, she stayed very close to her mama duck. <laughs>